what's up you guys this is Rob from the Gay Guy Plays and today on the Daily Grind we're going to be taking a look at the new Hunter set that drops off of the infested boss during the Plains of Eidolon event Operation Plague. Sorry now as you can see right here I've got all of them leveled up and ready to go for you guys to take a look at. I just wanted to note that the bonuses that are noted are kind of skewed because of the fact that I have several already slotted into the weapons themselves and also be aware that these bonuses only apply to Kubros and Kabats. So if you're a Sentinel user you're going to be a little bit left out of this one. So let's take a look at what we've actually got going. So the set bonus is companions deal 25% extra damage against enemies affected with a slash status. Now this is like very very specific but if you take a look at how the whole set works together you'll understand exactly what we're talking about. So let's jump right in as you can see we've got Hunter's Adrenaline ready to go and that one converts 45% of the damage on health to energy. So basically this is like an amped up rage. Rage I believe is 40%. The only thing is it's a little bit cheaper on the drain for your um for your mod slots. So keep that in mind. So a replacement for Rage or an upgrade to Rage as some people might see it. We'll move on to Hunter's Track. This one I'm a little bit blah about. This does 30% uh, status duration. Now for some people that can be a really cool thing for some of their builds. However, it's not necessarily something that I go for, but that does slot itself into your primary weapon. However, Hunter's Munition is really where things start to get spicy. Um, this one has a 30% chance to apply a slash status to an enemy on critical hit. So you know a lot of the times that we go ahead and build our weapons for slash crit? Well now, whenever you have a critical chance, you have a chance to apply a slash status on that as well. So sometimes weapons that we didn't necessarily look to before to be able to apply stats, slash status, we'll be able to do now. And we'll be taking a look at one of those when we jump into the play tests. So now we have a little bit of a chance to apply that status, right? Um, let's go ahead and move into Hunter's Command. So for those of you guys who don't know, actually, Hunter's Bone Saw is a Ripka's uh, Augment mod, but we're going to skip that one because that's not a part of the set. Next is Hunter Command. Companions attack nearest enemy affected by slash status for 6 seconds. Now this synergizes extremely well with the fact that companions are going to be dealing large chunks of damage to enemies who have slash on them because of the fact that they're affected by slash status. So it pairs hand in hand really really well, but I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not sure if this is one that I'm going to reach for. It's interesting, but I'm not going to jump into it 100%. Now. We've got Hunter Recovery and Hunter Synergy. I want to go ahead and show you Hunter Recovery first because it ties into Hunter Synergy a little bit. Um, but Hunter Recovery has 30% Companion Lifesteal Link. Now, for those of you guys who are big fanatics of Kabats and Kubros, you guys already probably know about Pack Leader, which whenever you do melee attacks will actually um, grant health back to your pet. Well, this is actually the other way around. Every time your pet attacks an enemy, they will actually be restoring 30% of that damage to your own health. And now for those of you who don't know, there are many Kubros that do finisher attacks and Kabats have the ability to shred enemy armor and inflict lots of slash based attacks. So part of me is a little bit like, holy shit, I've actually been able to restore tons and tons of health with Hunter Recovery. So this is the way for your pet to repay you back for all of that pack leader love that you've been giving it. Now, so as we can see, this is our companion paying us back. The one thing that I have yet to figure out is Hunter Synergy. Now, if anybody has tested this or anybody um, has been able to find a way to kind of get confirmation on this, because I went ahead and checked the wiki, and the wiki does not show, but this is a 30% crit link. A part of me is almost thinking it's going to be companion to Warframe, so that way our weapons will get a boost to our crit. Because that just makes more sense. That's better synergy, right? We're applying crit to enemies, and those enemies are going to be afflicted more damage via our pets. So, for those of you who don't know, maybe you guys are not super, super familiar with um, Kavats and Kubros. Kavats and Kubros actually have insane amounts of crit built into them. So, as you can see right here, Aspen's actually got an 86% critical chance, and he does slash damage and slash damage alone. So, that's the thing that I kind of want to point out there. Oops, phone call. We're going to ignore that phone call real fast <laughs> because we're on to bigger and better things. So as you can see here, that critical chance, 30% of that could potentially be transferred to our weapons. So if anybody's got any testing out on that, please let me know. I will leave a, it in a pinned comment below if I do figure out which way this synergy goes.
All right, so as you guys can see right here, we are jumping straight in with the Cyranos Prime. Now, for those of you guys who aren't aware, the Cyranos Prime is not really known for its ability to inflict slash procs, especially because of the fact that it's got a low status chance and it's got very, very low slash damage. It's in fact primarily impact. However, I went ahead and tossed Hunter's Munition on it, which has a 30% chance to apply the slash status on a critical hit. Now, as you can see with my Riven and, you know, the basic build, we've got a 138 critical chance. So we're always going to have a critical chance, which means we should be able to apply a decent amount of slash procs onto this. Now, for those of you guys who don't know what the Serenos Prime does, it actually fires off a shit ton of arrows at the same time. Now, I do want to make note that this is a testing build, that this is not actually the way that I would build this weapon. I want to get a little bit more play um, in it before I start swapping things over. So I just want you to be aware that this is not a judge rob for this build challenge. This is just me demonstrating to you exactly how Hunter's Munition is going to work. So let's go ahead and jump in, uh, visit our good old friend Billy and see exactly how this performs on him. All right. So coming on up, uh, as you can see, we've already got a slash proc going. We've got a couple slash procs inflicted. Um, I know that, uh, unfortunately, the Bombard Blast gets in the way, but as you can see here, we're inflicting a ton of slash procs on him at the same time. That was three at the very, very end to help finish him off, and that is not something that the regular Serenos uh, Prime can do on its own because of the fact that it just does not have the damage spread or the status chance for it. So it's almost kind of like they're tying um, status to crit which is pretty fucking amazing. Now, we got unlucky there. There was not a single slash block there. I almost wish that the percentage was just a little bit higher, but with certain weapons, that might end up becoming OP, especially because of the fact that you... I mean, I'm not saying that you should do this, but uh, you might actually be able to double up on weapons that have high crits, like... Imagine this on a Dread that's got status and crit at the same time, maybe even doubling up. You know what? Let's go ahead. Listen. Listen, we're here. This is live. Let's just give it a shot and see how this goes. I already have an incredible ribbon for my Dread. Um, so part of me is like, mm, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to take out Vital Sense on this. I know that's probably not the way to go for this build, but we are just testing this out. So again, do not judge me. Do not judge me. We are just, this is just a thing that we are trying out, okay? <laughs> Uh, so let's jump on in with that Billy as well and see exactly how we can double up on this. Maybe inflict extra slash chances um, with this. Ooh, ooh, okay. That's good. That seems to work pretty gosh darn well. Now, of course, uh, the Dread on its own, especially with the Riven that I've got on it, is going to be pretty beast. So, I mean, it's potentially a thing that you could do. But as you can see, um, because of the fact that it crits... It's already got a chance to inflict that slash proc. That's three slash procs in that shot. Oh, that's just nasty. So uh, Hunter's Munition is definitely something that you guys should check out. It's something uh, very, very interesting from the set that I think you'll be very, very interested in. All right, so swapping on over to the companion of the deal, we're going to be taking a look at Hunter Recovery, Hunter Command, and eventually-ish Hunter Synergy. But uh, let's start with Hunter Recovery. So this is the reverse life steal where the um, Kabater Kubro will give you 30% of the damage that they deal back to your health. So I figured I would go ahead and swap over to Anaros, and I also went ahead and put the Hunter's Adrenaline on Anaros, which, as you you guys know is the new version of rage basically um and then we've got hunter's command that we'll take a look at a little bit after which basically any enemy afflicted with a slash proc will be attacked by your companion for six seconds but uh we'll take a look at that after let's go ahead and start off with hunter recovery so we pulled out our naros right here i'm gonna go ahead and uh grab a little bit of health damage as you can see and a little bit of armor to boot um let's whip out our billy and see exactly what our cat can do. So, I mean, technically this isn't Hunter Command because there's only one enemy on the field. But our, our cat knows. Our cat knows. We want you to hurt this guy. And as you can see here, let's let's see if he's going to give us... Oh, there's a massive chunk of health right there. Are you going to give us another one? Come on, hit him, babes. Hit him, babes. Oh, there you go. And we are back to full health. We are back to full health with help of our little Kavat. So that's always, always nice. Now let's go ahead and um, try that one more time so you guys can get another visual on it and see exactly how it works. But I feel like it's pretty straightforward, right? There's nothing too crazy about that. I just feel like it's a it's a nice way to kind of repay your pet um, for all of, or have a nice way of your pet repaying you for uh, all of the times you've done a pack leader for them and basically stole life from them. Come on, smack me, smack me. Get him, Bebs. Oh, and back up to full. That was quick. And because of the fact his armor got shredded, 
um, he was basically dead in moments. So let's go ahead and jump into Hunter's Command. Let's let's spawn a second. Let's spawn a second um, one of those. So we'll have two bombards on the field now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go select this. Let's select this one. Oh, I guess you can't tell because there are arrows all over the place. But as you can see, that one is the one that I want to go after right there. That one is the one that I wanted to go after. There you go. And as you can see, he is aggressively attacking that one, but I need to put a slash proc on him. Slash proc or maybe dead proc. Okay, well, that's, that still works. <laughs> Let me get my Kavada a little bit of health back. So we're repaying each other when it comes to uh, health and whatnot. But as you can see, um, the slash damage is pretty freaking insane from this Serenos, especially when that thing's got no armor uh, linked onto it. We're just we're just kind of waiting for Kitty to get in his jabs, finish him off, Fibs. No? Are you just gonna toy with him for a little bit? I'm done. I'm done. We're moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> Alright, so I kind of think that I found a way to test out Hunter's Synergy, and the results, I'm not sure are good or not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. There does seem to be something weird with the Simulate Grim, as you can see right there. Um, there are actually no stats being transferred over to the Smita, which is strange, but you guys saw on the Orbiter, um, it actually has an 80% chance to crit, or an 86% chance to crit. So if we're taking a 30% crit link, that means that it should convey over at least 25% critical chance onto... Um, um, the Warframes themselves. So I'm not sure if it's going to transfer over to the primary, secondary, or tertiary, or, or uh, melee. Sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking color palettes. Um, but at least from what I'm seeing here, it's not really doing it for the primary in any way, shape, or form. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. I'll show you because I'm using the Tenora right now. And as you can see, the Tenora's charge actually has an 82 point for... Uh, 82.5% chance to crit, which means that if we have that 25% chance to crit conveyed over from the 30% of 86%, okay, well, let's just say it's supposed to convey over like 25.8% chance to crit, right? Let's just say that. So 20. 5% on top of 82% should mean that the Tenora's charge is going to be critting 100% of the time. However, unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Again, I don't know if it's a simulacrum bug or whatnot, but uh, legitimately, uh, as you can see here, it's not critting all the time. So, because of the fact that it's not critting all the time, it leads me to believe the fact those are slash blocks. So I'm waiting for the slash blocks to wear off. It leads me to believe that it's not carrying over, at least as as, as a simulacrum is con concerned. See, as you can see right there, there was a there was a non crit crit attack. So a part of me is like, all right, I don't know. Does that mean that we're conveying over our our crit chance from our kavat, uh, from our weapons to our kavat? Because if that's the case, um, what weapon is it? going from? Is it going from our primary weapon? Is it going from our secondary weapon? Is it going from our melee weapon? Like, where exactly is this crit chance being conveyed from? Because, as you guys can see, it's not transferring over. It might just be a simulator room buff. I'm not 100% sure. But to be completely honest with you, I'm a little bit meh on it. If it's not... Listen, if it was a flat 25% crit buff to um, our weapons, whether it be melee, whether it be um, primary or secondary, whatever, if it was a 25% crit chance to our, our weapons from our Kavat, that would be fucking amazing, and I definitely think that it would be worth slotting in. Um, however, right now, it's still kind of up in the air until we get more testing uh, proven. So if anybody has any way to test this that will prove something one way or another, that would be absolutely amazing, so leave that in the comments below. But that about does it for the Hunter set. Now, if you are a Sentinel lover and you're just coming through to hate on the Kavats and Kubros and that's all you're trying to leave in the comment section, you could, you could hard pass that. We could just bump that somewhere else. But for those of you guys who do really love using your Kubos and Kavats and are really fond of them, let me know how you guys feel about these sets in the comments below. Um, and let me know also if maybe, maybe you are thinking about possibly using Kubros and Kavats now because of these sets. Because that Rage mod... It's pretty fucking sweet. There's, you know, there's more energy to be had from that. The 30% um, slash proc chance on a critical chance is pretty interesting as well. The life steal from your pet to you is also pretty gosh darn awesome. It's just the other three, the command, um, the one that might give you crit or might not give you crit, and of course the status duration ones, those ones don't really like concern me too much. So leave your feelings in the comments below and um, I will see you guys in the future. I'll be doing more videos on Operation Plague Star loot. Um, we'll be taking a look at some of the infested 
the Zaz coming up soon. Uh, but that about does it for now. So as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!